Hello everyone, it's me Luna, and I'm continuing on playing Super Sparrow. Let's go for it. <gasps> what happened to the city? We destroyed it. Why? Didn't people live here? Of course not, elves did. We were bombarding the towers, but there was a powerful magic spell protecting them. The boulders were all repelled by the magic and crashed into the town instead. That's horrible! All the innocent elves, didn't you ever think of them? It was not our doing. We were not aiming for the houses. Besides, I'm sure the elf queen took them into the tower to protect them. You're sure? Positive? 100%? I'm 100% positive. My father taught me never to claim something I cannot totally be sure of. But I am res reasonable, sh reasonably sure. It is what I would have done. Relieved. You will find more elf wizards in this tower. Is that you? <sighs> Silence, elf. Humans, no, don't kill me. <coughs> Why? So c you can tell the other elves so they can kill us instead. Elves kill? No, only though to protect ourselves from evil humans. They go to every elf city and kill innocent elves. That is just what elves did to every human city. Innocent, lying elf. I should kill you this very second. Wait! Prince Kalel, you would really kill this poor elf child? Ask him what the poor elf did to my brother. Ask him! I... I don't know who you are. And I don't know why you are here. All I want is my mom and some food. We used to have a nice house and plenty to eat before the humans came and destroyed everything. Evil humans, leave me alone. I cannot kill a child, even an elf. Let's get out of here. So it actually was the past brother. Interesting. Why? Is in That's the horrible. Here. Hmm. Oh, come on. There is nothing to. Wasted some HP, I guess. Wait, Music here is really nice. I love it. Actually, it's a pretty good mapping too. Not the best I've seen, but really good.
Wow. Sometimes I think it would be better to get behind those things so you can walk behind the tower, not only in front. It kind of looks weird. The queen is expecting you. Where is everyone? It appears deserted, but it could be a trap. Come on, you can't be a jerk all the time. It's still only... I've heard there are humans nearby. The humans will never make it into Sopfigil. Pointing. Then who is dead? Actually, I'm more of an elf. And I like elves. We mean you no harm. We just need to talk to your queen. We don't know where the queen is. Only the captain of the queen's guard has that information. We really don't know where the queen is. I have no interest in helping you. Shelly, do you know any Smoo? And you never heard of him? How could I have possibly ever heard of him? What is an excellent point, Shelly? He's a human wizard. A human wizard? Say it. Then of course I haven't heard of him. A human wizard? <laughs> That's a good one. Like Drago would waste his time on them. Human wizards have much less magic than us. Yes, well, unless the queen has sent you humans to pester us, please leave us to return to our research. Yeah, Rago is creating a new potion. He will be the most famous elf wizard of all time. A new potion? Does it make small dogs stop barking? Why would one ever make such a potion? Just listen to my sweet little swan. Their melodious bark evoke tears of joy. Not Jane Shelley. Now then, let's show these uh, nice humans out. He'll be even more powerful than the Queen. He might even be... Not Jane Shelley either. That's quite enough, Shelley. Oh, yes, of course. Drago. Whoa! Look at all... He's a... A new... Po I'm so lucky to be Drago's assistant. He is so smart, so wise, so intelligent. Revive was found. <laughs> Let's steal their arrows, because, well, we don't like them. Or at least they don't like him. I don't have anything against arrows. Not that I ever met anyone, but well. This music is really awesome. Chicken was found. A roast chicken, to be exactly correct. I should have taken this break hours ago. Break from what? 
Never mind, you look more weary than I do. Take a rest before you speak with the queen. Okay. Behavioral scientists believe that one of the main reasons why people became leaders is not from what skills they seem to possess, but rather from what extremely superficial ex impression they make on others through hardly perceptible physical signals that we call today charisma, Taleb. Almost all the smart things that have been proven by science appeared like the lunacies at the time they were first discovered. Taleb, true again, is stark as a person who combines the qualities of wisdom, upright dealing and courage. The stark will thus be immune from life's gyrations as he will be superior to the wounds from some of life's dirty tricks. Taleb. If I misspell something, I'm really sorry. I'm not native English, so I make some mistakes. People overvalue their knowledge and underestimate the probability of their wrong. Uh, again, try it. People overvalue their knowledge and underestimate the probability of their being wrong. Tell it. Yeah, <laughs> sometimes I act like that. Life would be unbearably bland if we had no enemies on whom to waste effort and energy. I don't really have enemies, at least I think so. The rarer the event, the higher the error in our estimation of its probability. Yeah. This looks like the room we're looking for. Once we find the queen, we might not be able to get back here. Are you sure you're done exploring this level? No. There's the middle room I left out. Oh, this is so awesome. I love it. I'm the captain of the queen's guard. My queen is expecting you. You have her leave to Sion anywhere you wish in her castle. Thanks, my. Is my sister here? There are none of your kind in this world. I was an elf, and she is the queen of the air, so she is my queen too, right? Don't be so quick to pledge your allegiance to the wrong crown, Sydney. What do you think I should if do? If you pledge allegiance to the Elf Queen, will you still be my elf? Of course, I will always be your loyal and faithful elf, no matter who my king or queen is. Good, then it doesn't matter to me. Well, it matters to me. There will be nothing in it for you in betrayal except a visit from my sword. I should warn you, the queen will not be easy to find. I give you this clue. Heed it well. In a room of water, look to the light. Sydney, where are you paying attention? Huh? <laughs> I got to I go to my queen now. She is quick to anger and has become unmerciful since the advent of the war. Perhaps it is best if you just leave. Had this warning well. Any move against my queen will result in your death. Well, any move against us. I hate when they do that. I hate your acting. Would you like to read the Majesty Chapter 2? Yes. The Majesty Chapter 2. Tractat. <laughs> that name. Tractatarat did not recognize dwarves. He did not know what they were. We'd, he didn't even know if he was awake of its of if this was another dream. A rat, one of the dwarves said, Tractatarat sprang awake. These creatures spoke, which meant 
They must be Majesty. Perhaps they were from land far away and had been searching for him all these thousands of years. He stretched and walked towards the dwarves. Hello, my name is Draktatarat. The dwarves were not Majesty. They could not understand what Draktatarat was saying. All they heard was a rat shrieking. Hey, that rat is after us, one of them said. Kill it, another one said. Wait, Draktarat yelled. I mean, you know, ha no harm. I'm Majesty. Can't you understand me? That is the strangest threat I've ever seen. And one of them said, It looks like it's trying to talk to us. Don't be ridiculous. That rat could have rabies. Let's kill it before it bites us. He picked up his shovel and slammed it down on the rat. Tracked the rat instantly used his magic to create a false field. The shovel bounced off him. What the? Come on, help me kill this thing. No way. That rat has powers. He's a magic rat. He let's get out of here. They ran down the passage and out of the cave. Draktorat watched them leave. He walked down the same passage and flew out of the cave. Later the night, Draktorat found a small town. He did not recognize houses, but soon figured out that dwarves lived in them. He crawled into the basement of one of the houses and fall asli fell asleep. He had many bad dreams. While he was dreaming, something magical happened, but it was dark, bad magic. The next day, all of the dwarves that lived in the dead houses had bad luck. The family's house died, and their house got infested by termites. They all got very sick and threw up all morning. When it was the dinner time, The smell of food woke Drak Tatara. He had not eaten in, in many years and he was very hungry. He walked into the kitchen and asked if he could share some food. But all that was would hear was this high-pitched shriek of a rat. The monster hit Drak Tarat with a broom. The broom broke in half. The father threw a hammer off at him. The hammer bounced off and broke a window. Draktorat did not understand why these creatures were being so cruel to him. He turned invisible and walked into another house. He was tired from using his magic. He crawled into a closet and went to sleep. The next day all of the dwarves in the house also had bad luck. Lightning hit the roof and it caught on fire. Then it poured all morning and the water went through the broken roof. When the family prepared dinner later that night, they saw a rat in their kitchen. Every day that week, another family in town had bad luck. Soon it was discovered that all of the people who had bad luck had been seen a rat in their house. They called it the bad luck rat. Everyone was afraid they would see the bad luck rat in their house and get bad luck. They called an exterminator to kill the rat, but the exterminator could not find it. A week. A few weeks after the bad luck rat was first sighted, a young boy awoke from a nightmare. He had dreamt of a magic ox. ox. <coughs> he dreamed that the magic ox drowned in the sea. He was talk walking to his parents' room to tell them about the nightmare. When he saw a rat in the kitchen, the boy was very scared. It was the bad luck rat. The boy was so, so frightened that he couldn't move. The rat came closer to him It did not look like an evil rat. It would li look sad and hungry. What do you want to eat? Are you hungry? We have lots of food. I don't know what what rats eat, so I will open up all of the cabins, cabinets and the refrigerators. And you can take what you want, okay? Draktorat followed him and to the kitchen and had his first feast in 100,000 years. That night, Draktorat had his first good dream in many thousands of years. Good magic rose up from him and surrounded the house. The next day, the young boy and his family had good luck. They found a buried pot of gold near their well that made them nearly rich. The boy told his parents that he had seen the bad luck rat, but they did not believe him. That night, the boy had another nightmare. He dreamt of the magic ox again. It was trying to stop other animals from fighting, but they did not listen. When he woke up, he saw the bad luck rat sleeping on his floor. 
but maybe it wasn't the bad luck rat after all. Maybe it was a good luck rat. After a while, Drug Tetrod went to the other houses in the town. If they were bad dwarfs, he brought them back like those he was forever known as the bad luck rat. But if they were good dwarfs, he brought them good luck and word soon spread that bad luck rat had an enemy known as the good luck rat. After he visited all the homes in this town, he would go to the next town and then the town after that all the while bringing either good luck or bad luck, depending on what they deserved. If he used his magic wisely, he might accomplish what even Gnut had been unable to do to prevent the next great war. End of chapter 2. Wow. But it's actually kind of true. You get what you bring to others. So if you are a bad person, you probably get bad things back. Back. <coughs> At least that's what I believe in. Definitely cannot read us. Let's move ahead. Yep. Yes. You are the most fru foolish humans I have enco ever encountered. Kneel before the queen. What can you possibly expect to accomplish? Kneel before our mother. Those who detect fraud and do nothing about it become part of the fraud. Tell it. The record shows that for society, the richer we become, the harder it gets to live within our means. A Abundance is harder for us to handle than scarcity. Taleb. The central illusion in life is that randomness is risky. That it is a bad thing and that eliminating randomness is done by eliminating randomness. Okay, Taleb. Not really get that. Because of opacity, an intervention leads to unforeseen consequences, followed by apologies about the unforeseen aspects of consequences, then to another intervention to correct the secondary effects leading to an explosive series of branching unforeseen responses, each one worse than the preceding one. Cat happened. The fragilista magical economic social Planning are those who engaging in policies and actions are artificial, in which the benefits are small and visible, and the side effects potentially self and invisible. Taleb. The Fragalista falls for the Soviet Harvard delusion, the unscientific overestimation of the reach of scientific knowledge. Because of such delusion, he believes that the reason behind things are automatically accessible to him. Taleb and it fragile. A fragilist, uh, a fragilist that defaults to think what he doesn't see is not there, or what he does not understand does not exist. At the core, he tends to mistake the unknown for the non-existent Taleb. I'm kind of one of those. Choose your words carefully. My queen will not be merciful. He is here, the boy elf. While not seeing it with my own eyes, I would not believe it. Having seen it with my own eyes, I still do not believe it. An elf from in a world with no elves. Hey, I try to talk to three elf wizards already, and all they do is send monsters after us. 
Silence, you will treat the queen with respect. What? Insolence, child. Gods, take them away. As you command, your highness. Oh, my dead body will you harm this child. She will not be harmed. We have no interest in her. How rude. Silence, how dare you talk to our queen with that fresh mouse. I will not be taken prison. I would rather die. So be it. Charges. No! <laughs> Sydney, why? Fall asleep. Sydney, what have you done? I... I don't know. Oh well, that didn't went so well. <laughs> Hmm. Oh well. Let's make the best out of it. Traitor. You are a disgrace to all elves. It is good to see you, child. Head Priestess. Yes, Snowball, you have done well to get here, but now I see you are in need of my help. They put everyone in chair, except me. Yes, because you're an elf. What am I supposed to do? How did you even get in here? Not all wells and humans are at war. The temples of both races have kept in contact and remember the kindnesses we have done each other. In the past, I sent word out of Sopthegil. After you left the Isle Temple that you might one day make it here. Can you help us? I've done all that I can. The Elf Queen has allowed you to speak with her, but without your human companies. Companions. Perhaps you can convince her to release them. How? I barely know anything. You have journeyed with brave and wise companions. You have learned everything you need to know. My queen appears to trust you, but I do not. Why are you still here? Be quiet up quick about it. Our mother's favors to all you our mother favors you. Mother was granted you a great mercy. The priestess has convinced me to grant you an audience. Tell me why you came to Softagil in the company of three humans. And what exactly are you? Not a human, but not exactly an elf either. I can't make you out what you are. Thank you, your majesty. I see, at least you know some manners, can't you? First, let me explain what I am. I know this is hard to believe, but I am a real elf, so not from this world. In my world, I was known as a magical toy elf. On my world, he, we liked humans, and they liked us. One day, my owner Sydney was captured by Nerim and brought to your world. The king took me back to help rescue her. The king? Impossible. He did no such thing. Can you assure? I can assure you it is not. My husband never did such a thing. Your Majesty, I mean the human king. At least that's what he told me. You have met with the human king. Has he sent you here? Are you working for him? Hmm, why would you do that? You must have known how dangerous it would be. Yes, Prince Kalal warned us, but Emerald told us to do it. She said it was the only way to find Sydney's dad. Emerald, yes, from the Isle Temple. I know of her. I wonder why she would send you all here. I 
I don't like the tone of your voice. To the dungeon with you forever. Sydney, Sydney, can you hear me? Snowball? Is that you? Help me! I'm sorry, I failed you. <sighs> oh well. Do that again, I guess. Yep, 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 yep. I already got that. Go there, and I guess I save better here again. I didn't know that there's a game over screen. Ah, I shouldn't do that. Try again. I see. That does make sense, as every powerful wizard will need be needed if we ever hope to defeat Nilrim. The ass want to defeat Nilrim too. Yes, of course, he is power hungry and wicked. And a human. Well, Snowball, I must say, you have answered my questions wisely. Now, what is that you want? Your Majesty, please free my friends and help us find Sydney's dad. We will do anything we can to help you as well. Hmm. Yes, you could come in very handy. You have already made it past the Great Forest. You can sneak one of us into the human castle. Sneak one of you in? For what? What for? What business is that of yours? Will you do it or not? That is courageous answer, and also the right one. We could never trust anyone who would betray others. I will set your friends free, and the condition that you to retrieve the Artemis bow for my king. It is the most powerful weapon in our world. Only kings can use it. The Artemis bow is being held in the human magical school. No elf has been able to get in there. Thank you, your majesty. Of course, we will do this for you. Good. Bring the Artemis bow to my children. They will be waiting near one of our other castles. I will leave the sleeping woman here after all. What use could she possibly be to you asleep all the time? And see if we can cure her. I sense an evil spell has been placed on her. I will also send a powerful elf to help on your mission. She will meet you at the human magical school. Thank you, your majesty. We will not fail you. Well, that was something. Snowball, you saved us. Proud. We have to find the human magical school and bring something back for them. And then they'll find my dad? Uh, we didn't exactly get to that part. But that's the whole reason why we came here. They said they will try to get Nurim spell off mom. Really? I can have my mom back? What exactly do the elves want? They want the Artemis bow. I know of it. But I doubt the headmistress will let you take it to the elves. We have to try. I can get my mom back. And maybe they will still help us find Dad if we bring them that orb thing. Very well. At least we will be a back in my own kingdom, far away from this accursed place. I have the king, the key to the magical school. This artwork is nice. Sandra, what are you doing here? Kristoff never returned from this place. I couldn't bear to lose you as well. If I didn't come out, would you have gone in after me? I just might have. 
But there is another reason I have came. Come. It has to do with the mission you gave to me. Come closer. Nobody else can hear. Listening? Nerem. You were right to find me. I'll take care of it. Looks around. How did you get here? There are no more sailboats. I teleported. Only father can teleport that far. And me. I'll tell you about it later. Bye. Oh well. Let's do a save here. And give me something back. doesn't have any use at the moment. Here somewhere. Um, there maybe. I guess so. Hmm. So after today, I have not that much time, but at least I want to make a little episode. I end it here. I hope you enjoyed anyway, and see you in the next video. Bye!